trades with other free world nations. A lot goes out, too, mainly the finished hardware. NATO representatives make frequent inspections of the equipment before it is shipped out to bolster the armed forces of friendly nations. These are some of the friendly nations of the free world, nations whose security against foreign aggression is linked tightly with our own security. The American army then, through ordnance, bolsters its allies by sending them the most modern military equipment. The fighting power of our allies will be a potent factor in the event of emergency because the outward flow of supplies is unceasing by rail and by road, unceasing. Not very long ago, teams of crack riflemen from the various armies of NATO trooped toward a firing range somewhere in Western Europe. Ordnance again was working hand in hand with NATO officials in attempting to lessen the diversity of weapon and cartridge systems, which is always a handicap to the operation of an international army. The situation was very evident during a friendly contest, a small arms shoot among teams of the NATO countries. Each contestant used a weapon of his own national army so that the firing shoot served to compare the effectiveness of one against the other. When the firing was over, the targets were carefully studied. One result of this and other tests was the development of a new standardized light cartridge by ordnance. Standardization would simplify the supply problems of the NATO officers and men who watched the posting of the scores because it would provide for easy interchange of cartridges from one ammunition supply system to another. Interchange, the magic word, was the objective of the thinking and action of trained men, experts in their field. To secure these highly trained soldiers, the Army maintains in the scenic Alpine town of Fusen, the largest ordnance school in Europe. This institution stands on the grounds of a World War II German Army base. Courses cover a wide range of basic subjects. Students in the four-week cycle for ammunition supply specialists study such subjects as the proper layout of an ammunition supply point, correct storage of ammunition, and the transportation and supply of ammunition in the combat zone. Working with the actual materiel, students observe at close hand the characteristics of artillery shells, rockets, mortars, landmines, from A to Z in the American ammunition arsenal. The same thoroughness characterizes all the courses at the school. The testing and repair of voltage regulators is only one of many subjects covered in the five-week automotive electrician cycle. Students use a modern, well-equipped shop which contains the latest ordnance electrical test equipment. On-the-spot practical training is the rule here. A cutaway model of a Jeep is available to show details of engine, transmission, differentials, and brakes, and the part each component plays in the overall operation of the vehicle. The demonstration of a vehicle engine running completely submerged underwater is one of the highlights of the wheeled vehicle repairman course. The waterproofing of automotive engines helps ordnance fulfill its mission to have vehicles combat serviceable at all times, whatever the conditions. As at any other school, sooner or later comes the grim day of reckoning, final examinations. The final examination is used by the instructor as a review of the entire course. The students have crammed intensively for the test, which serves to provide a measurement of the student's progress and the extent of his knowledge. The test covers the entire work for the term. For several hours, the students answer a barrage of difficult questions and set the answers down on the special examination forms. A day later, students crowd up to the bulletin board to see the results. A smile here means he's made the grade as an ordnance specialist. No time is wasted. Even as the final marks come out, the new schedule for the next cycle is posted.
And outside, the graduating students march by a symbol of the past, a leftover mural of World War II German troops. Leaving the past, the graduates march toward their future, ordinance in Europe. The responsibilities of the United States Army and of the American soldier who wears its uniform call for top quality equipment in every operation. The unrelenting efforts of the Ordnance Corps in Europe and throughout the world contribute strongly to the effectiveness of the American soldier and the security of his country. Now this is Sergeant Stuart Queen inviting you to be with us next week for another look at your Army in action on The Big Picture. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the United States Army in cooperation with this station. You too can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.